quick movie review on The Creator by director Gareth Edwards. Guys, this is Joel here at No Low Time, and I just wanted to do this quick spoilers review. So if you have seen the movie, you're good to go, you're good to watch this. If you have not seen The Creator, I want to hit the pause, hit the subscribe, come back after you've seen it. All right, so just in general, a little backstory around this movie. I've been excited for it for quite a bit. It's an original story. Um, it's by the director of Rogue One. That's what really brought a lot of my attention to it. It's sci-fi. I love sci-fi, so I was pretty excited about that. was at San Diego Comic-Con this year and got to see the Collider Directors on Directing panel where the director, Edwards, was there speaking all about the project and showcased some footage, which was interesting because it was actually probably the best part of the film. But that's that's a conversation for another point. Um, you might think that I hated it just by that remark. By that remark, I would say the movie was probably a good a good seven out of ten. Um, it's it, it, it's a film that has a lot of great things going for it. The positives. Let's talk about the acting. Um, main characters absolutely completely committed to their roles. Love that. Um, you also have a great visual effects and uh, it's, you know, you can see that they use the budget extremely well. Um, the way these were shot, uh, the incorporation of both, um, practical effects with mix and with some after effects and visual effects that, that was just absolutely well done. And then additionally, uh, you know, you have your great music score, John Williams coming in, doing some work for this. Always love to see him back in it. Um, and, you know, just all in all, I think the quality of the production, you can tell there was a lot of really, really well worked, no shortcuts done to it, the way it was edited. I mean, just all around, really appreciate that. As for the cons, you look, I think the movie's mistake is that it's just trying to be too deep. Um, at its forefront, the film was about AIs and robot, AIs, robots versus humanity, and... Um, at the first half of the film, I think I really enjoyed where it was going. I thought I liked the groundwork that was going on with it. But the second half of it, I think it started to drag. Um, and there was a point where I actually started to feel like I, I you know, was wondering how much longer the film was going to be because it kind of felt like it was going in the same cycle, the same circle. Um, once you finally get to the child, and I love how there's the different chapters that's taken, right? The creator the child, the mother, the friend, like these different chapters that it's broken into. I appreciate that from, from the editing standpoint, but from the storytelling, I felt like they were um, trying to preach a significant message and taking their time to get to it. What I do think of the message itself was fine. I, I understand it. I think there's a, there's a good questions around humanity and, um, you know, right and wrong and, you know, just the, the consequences of choices and, and, and you know, evolution of, of, of technology and different things and just some good questions all around it. And it's a science fiction at its core. So it's world building and uh, character building. But I do think that because it continued to revolve around the whole conversation of, you know, the sacrifices of the AIs or the battle against the humans, and then you move into this um, kind of spiritual-ish type of environment where you see the the mother character, right? Um, that she's, you know, essentially giving her life for this child that's supposed to carry on and be the saving grace of, you know, the <laughs> the, the species of, of AI robots. You know, it, it, it's it's divisive because it's it's trying to keep it's trying to keep us engaged around, you know is it right, is it wrong? And you kind of go on that journey with the main character in this Joshua. But when you see um, the choice when he flips and says, no, I gotta actually protect the AIs, you're ready for it to just continue to ramp up from there where you start to get to how do we end this thing? And I feel as though um, you don't really get to that until you get to maybe the last 30 minutes of the movie. And I actually felt like they could have jumped a little bit sooner to that type of moments and just kind of built it out from there. But regardless, um, I still think that most people who are able to be patient, who are methodical, who are appreciate or appreciation of, of just creativity all around will enjoy the film. But I do think that the film itself could have used a little bit more structure 
and a little bit more straightforward. I've been enjoying 90 minute movies recently and I don't mean to sound like the old guy going, this is stuff too, this stuff's just too long, or maybe the young guy at that point saying this stuff's too long, you know, but I, I do think that there's sometimes some, some extra uh, trimming that could be done on these things. And, and uh, that's not a great feeling when you're sitting through it, but look, all in all still, I think that the creator is, is creative. And I think that the creator is needed and necessary because movies like this help encourage Hollywood to understand we don't have to keep making franchise films. Like, yes, this is a director that, you know, has directed big franchises, right? Did, uh, you know, Godzilla and did Rogue One and this cool stuff. But I think, um, you know, seeing someone trying to make something original and given a budget like a Star Wars film, and it was actually used extremely well. There was no cut arounds, you can tell. That's great to see, and we need to see that continued. Anyways, hope you guys were able to check out the film. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you drop a comment down below. Tell me what you thought about the creator. If you liked it, didn't like it, what's the reasons you felt about it the way you did? Make sure you subscribe. We talk about it on our live show. Uh, all the great different stuff going on in the comic book culture and sci-fi and fantasy and gaming, etc. So make sure you subscribe to our channel, watch our live streams, get those notifications on. And thank you all so much, and I'll see you next time.